Hey everyone, big news. Australia and the US just struck a major deal, about 13 billion US dollars to build a domestic rare earth and critical minerals industry. Here's the twist. For decades, the world let one country, China, dominate about 70% of rare earth mining and 90% of processing. Why does it matter? These minerals power your iPhone, EVS, wind turbines, solar panels, and even missile guidance systems. Australia already mines things like lithium, manganese, nickel cobalt, and rare earths. But it's been stuck exporting raw stuff while the heavy processing stayed overseas. Now the goal? Build the full supply chain, reduce dependence on China, and turn mining into high-value manufacturing. But it won't happen overnight. Experts say it may take into the 2030s for a transparent, diversified global rare earth market. So yes, the world dropped the ball, China pounced, but maybe Australia and the US still have a chance to close the gap. Thanks for tuning in, and big thanks to Patrick Commons and The Guardian for the story. See you next time.